So y'all, I got a monster. Oh yeah. I got another monster. This one might be my biggest channel catfish. All right, y'all, what's going on today? Today is gonna be a blessful day, like always. Here we have the Mad Cat Rods, the, the boat rod to be exact, but I have a special hook I wanna talk about real quick before we get into the action. I have a 4.4 odd Mad Catter hook. You can see this right here. What we gonna do is throw live uh, bait, bluegills, uh, green sunfish, and um, we gonna do some things. So this rod has the 4.40, mad catter hook and then i have a reaper hook on the other hook but we're gonna get some things started i'm gonna get some bluegill y'all stay tuned show y'all what we're working with so let's talk about the bluegill we have now i got a bunch in here they all alive i got a lot of little sunfish and uh little tiny bluegill you can see the green sunfish right here a little tiny guy so with that being said look at him <laughs> keep falling inside the thing it's catfish so this is how we're gonna do this right here. We're gonna hook them right behind that tail. Let's see if I can show y'all. Make sure to make sure to hook. Bam. <laughs> Look at him, he just ripped right out of that. Look at that. Look at that. He didn't rip right out of there. So alright guys, so now we're sitting here actually waiting for a bite. Um on this left rod right here. I want you to clearly see on the left rod. I have um, cut bluegill, and on the right one, I have a live uh, green sunfish. So I'm gonna just kind of mix it up throughout the day, figure out exactly what these fish want. Y'all just stay tuned, man. Hopefully, we can get uh, some action. Got him. Cut bluegill. Cut bluegill. Man, he bit that thing and was gone. Man, he a little guy, but he bit that. He bit that bluegill and was gone. He's swimming right towards me. Oh man. He a little, dude, he bit that bluegill and was out of here. Yeah, I, this is cut bluegill right here. Lord have mercy. He almost had my rod. Hold it. Yes, here we go. Ooh, that hook is not even in his mouth, good. It's in his whisker. We still got him though. And he's a fat little guy. Look at that. I got him at the quarter of mouth, but barely. I want y'all to see something. Look at this bait. Look at that. Cut bluegill. But I want you to also see. I can barely get my hand. I want you to also see how I barely had him on the hook. You see that? Open. Look at that. But there you have it. Little guy, but yet chunky as ever. I would definitely guess this is about a five pound channel cat off some cut bluegill. Look at that and see what else we can get. Oh, he wet me. Get on out of here, dude. Wet me up. Huh. I think we got something on this. This bluegill head. Uh-oh. Uh, I think we got some action on this bluegill head. I'm gonna just hold on tight, let him run and do what he gotta do with it. Oh. I kind of figured he wasn't gonna have it, y'all. See, you know, moments like that you got to capitalize on because, you know, okay, it didn't foul hook. It still got the bait on there and it's laying in some weeds. So we, this is a good thing. Now, let me see what I'm looking at here. Do I want to continue to throw this bait out? Uh, I'm going to throw it out one more time. Nice throw. Nice throw. I still got that live bluegill on the right, and I haven't got a bite on that yet. Got him. Woo. Boy. Man, he took that bluegill head, boy. Oh, man, he was screaming. Oh, yeah, this is a good fish. Woo. It's... I got him. Thank you. Man, that was a good fish. That was a good, good, good bite. Look at him. Oh, he got off the hook. He didn't flip out. He didn't flip it out his mouth. Man, no. Oh, man, that was a good one, dude. I got to see what happened with the... Or is he still there? 
No, oh, he's swimming. I got him. I do have him. I was like, there's no way. Okay. I still have him. Oh, yes. It's a good fish. Good channel cat. Good channel cat. Got him. Yo. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's put him in the grass. All right. So I'm gonna show y'all exactly what happened with the hook so y'all can see what that hook did. This is the mad catter hook right there at the corner of his mouth. As you can see, and I'm gonna take that out and show you, see? Bam, cut bluegill. Now we're gonna look at this fish up by hand and get a weight on him. See, oh, that's a, that's a lunker right there. That is a lunker. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It don't want to set. It keep going to, okay, 927. Here we go. So we caught us about an eight pound channel catfish, which is still good, but you know, I want that 10 pounder. I want that 10 pounder, but I want to show y'all exactly what a good healthy eight look like. Look at that. Still a, still a, still a young man. Still a young man. That's, man, that is a health. I thought that was 10 easy, man. All right, let's get that out of here. He's going to splash me, so I'm going to push him off before he do. There you go. All right, wash my hands. Okay, I think I'm going to have to use cut bluegill instead. Another one on cut bluegill. Look at that. Look at that. Go ahead. Oh, I got I got a bite on the live bluegill. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh man, yes. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm getting a light on a bite on that live bluegill too. That's kind of that's kind of crazy right now considering. <laughs> I got a rod in my hand. Come on, he's swimming right towards me. Come on, you're not getting away from me. You're not getting away from me, come on. This is a monster. This is a monster, dude. Please come on the bank. Please get me this fish. Please get me this fish. Please give me this fish, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, this is a monster channel cat. Man, listen. Man, listen. Man, listen. Man, listen. Listen. Live bluegill or cut bluegill? Yup. Listen here, dude. Look at that right the corner of his mouth. I want y'all to see this thing. I want y'all to see this thing. I want y'all to see this thing. Look at that gonna get that hook right out the corner of his mouth that is a monster channel look at his lips this thing been in the water for some years <laughs> that's what I come here for yes sir yes sir I'm about to weigh this dude up right here let me get a picture with him first and weigh him up all right oh look at that I caught me a, I caught me a 14 pound channel cat. That was 1506, I caught me a 14 pound channel cat. Cause we got to minus the weight of the net. Pond and just threw my, you know, some bobbers out there and bam. Look at that. That is a whopper. Let's get him out of here, man. Let's get him out of here. We are gonna revive him, wait till he ready to go. You always know he give you a little bit of there you go. There you go. All right. And you came, you just came from Tennessee? Huh? You just came from Tennessee? Yeah, yep, yep. I came from, uh, I was in Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area. Okay, right. Yep, yep. I've been in Gatlinburg. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I love it. Pigeon Forge. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Got him. Oh, he got off. He got off the dang on hook. How did you manage to do that? How did you manage to do that, dude? No way. 
No way. I ain't having that drama. No, sir. Y'all, I got a monster. Oh, yeah. I got another monster. This one might be my biggest channel catfish. I might break my own record, man. Might break my own PB. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. He's so big. I mean, it was instant sheer weight at the instant sheer weight. I can barely get him to move. You know how I feel like a log, but just a head shake. But it's very, it's not frantic because he's too big to be frantic. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You get your butt up over here, I swear. I'm, this is off the four eye hook. Oh, man, you. Did he get over me? Oh, yeah, he's well over. Oh, my goodness, boy. It's got to be another tank. This has to be another tank. I got to keep this uh, line caught up with him because I don't want him to run from me. Ooh, child. Oh, yeah, buddy. Come on. This is a beast. This is a beast. Come on now. Don't you flip. Keep that line tight on him. Cause he gonna do everything he can to get away from me. How big is this dude? There's no way. He can't be that small. No. Oh! Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got another whopper on here. We got another whopper. Oh, ho, ho, ho. get in here, big dog. Yay, yay. <laughs> Whoa. Let's get it. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. That's my personal best. That's got to be 15 pounds of my personal best. The other one was 14. That's that's bigger than that last one. Yeah, buddy. Y'all, I gotta soak this one in, homie. <laughs> yeah. That's how you come back to Ohio. Let's go. All right, we zeroed out. Gotta let that other one dry. All right. Oh! Surpassed it. Yes! Let's go. Let's go. 17 pound channel. <laughs> Let's go. I just beat my personal best by two pounds. Look at that. That says 1822. You eliminate the pound from the Western name. Yes. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Man, that's a lunker. 17 pound channel cat come on now <laughs> all right we're gonna get a release on this fella that was off a of cut bluegill look that's what we here for that's what we here for let's go let's go look at that monster channel cats look at that we out of here let's go all right y'all stay tuned ah uh, he's not a super big one but He's justifiable. Oh, okay, now I'm feeling his weight. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Got another one on. He don't he not big as them last ones, but oh, I don't know. Man, look how black this thing is. Look at this. Look how black this thing is. Lord Jesus. Blackest channel cat I ever caught in my life. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Man, that thing is dark. Man. Thing is black. <laughs> this thing is black, black, black. Man. Black one, huh? Yeah, look at this dark one. About definitely, this is a good seven, eight pound channel cat right here. But look at him. Look at that thing. Man. 
that's he's still a he's still a lunker for real and his mouth is bleeding because i got a good hook so hook set on him but that's normal look at him this boy got a lot of blood rushing on his body look at that big black booty head <laughs> yeah all right y'all let's get this fish released man yeah this got to be the most epic channel catfish day in my entire life look at that and it's not like a place i haven't fished before i have fished this place plenty of times but this this place is really blessing me let's get this beautiful specimen in the water come on now oh i knew he was gonna try to splash a brother all right we got another fish playing around with that other bluegill right there so what i'm gonna have to do is just sit back and just wait till he decide to lean over and pull that rod a little bit more to make me feel secure of setting that hook but until then it's time to get some more bait out from that last fish get him Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got another one, y'all. Man, he is trying to. Man, he is fighting the life out of me. Look at that. He got me tangled up for real, for real. Huh. Oh, he's a good one, too. I can't just pull him out. Man, this is a fat old channel cat. Man, this thing is about eight, nine pounds, about seven pounds. All right, let's see what I can do with this because, man, he tangled me all the way up. Let's pick up this fat, chunky little dude right here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that thing. Look at that, look at that belly. That thing is, this is what I'm picking up. They, if, even if they ain't big channel cats, they still got that beef to them. And that's what I'm on right there. This was definitely, this is definitely about six pounds, six, seven pounds. But what we gonna do, let's go in here, release them. Yeah, give them a little chance because I had got tangled up and I got it all out by the grace of God. All right, I think he, all right, he going, he going. He going. Yeah, he's going. All right, y'all, y'all stay tuned. We got another one. We got another one. He's, he's not big though, but we got him. Man, he's swimming right towards me. I don't know what it is about this spot. When you catch a channel cat, they swim right to you. Man, he's swimming right towards me. He's not fighting me, he just swim. Goodness, he's not even fighting because he's swimming towards me. Here he go, he ain't no big one, but he's still an angry one. Yeah, come on dude, stop. Look, I'm gonna show you that body part that I got on here that he decided to bite. Look at that. Man, boy, he is peed off. Man, look at that. Oh, can't get my hand wrapped around him because these things are still some fat lunkers. Even the smaller channel cats got some go about them. Look at that. Look at that hook. Yeah, off that chunk. I'm gonna throw a fresh piece of bait out there, but I wanna show y'all. Well, it's hard to show y'all when he, look at that. Just let him go. <laughs> that, was, that thing was pissed off at me, man. All right, y'all. So we're going to be going on home. I know you like, dang, I want some more of that action. The wind picked up really nice. And I think that's starting to play a role with the fish bite. And plus we in that, you know, that 12, one o'clock time, you know, PM to be exact. And usually when it hits that time, there is always like a slowdown. The morning bite was on fire. I promise you, man. Look, man, you got to get those 4.4 odd mad catter hooks. Seriously, a 4.4 odd mad catter hook. That thing is a beast. I'm telling you, uh, these mad cat rods put in some good old work. But man, dog, you can see, you see what I'm talking about with the wind blowing my hat. But like I say, man, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing, homie. <laughs> Get out there and try to get you a personal best. I've been trying to get that personal best for years, dude. Straight up. All right, I'm going to see y'all next time. Hey, looking for more content? 
Well, please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.